Yo, what's up guys, Strats here, and we finally got a tutorial. Um, sorry it's taken so long, um, I've been caught up with stuff, and uh, I know I've bragged a lot of them stupid updates out, but it's probably probably stuff you all need to know, but whatever. Um, trying to get back to the old way things were, and starting off with the most requested tutorial I've probably had, um, the pen tool uh, tips about it and helping you out with it, because um, when I first started with it, it was so frustrating and I can see what you mean and you probably need some help with it so we'll get straight into it. Um, first tip I'd give you when you're using the pen tool, uh, use the rulers um, that you get. If you don't see these little lines here at the top and at the side, click command or control R and you can take them off and put them on and uh, they're very useful when using the pen tool so we'll just drag it down and what they do is they create these little blue lines and basically when you're using it, we'll zoom in a bit, um, <clears throat> if you, if I was to click here or not there, if you, even if you're a bit off it will still connect to it, I'm not, it's not that great but that's because I'm zoomed in but if I'm out, if I'm at my actual pixels and I click about there it will still catch right onto it as you can see if I zoom in it's still gone right onto it which is great so they're very helpful and they can keep your measurements good and uh, they help a lot when you're using the pencil which is how I used uh, this is how I make my logo which was this here uh, all from scratch all pen tool and turned out pretty good um, <clears throat> so basically what I done was I'm not going to show you how to make my whole logo that would be stupid I would put a line there and then bring it down so it would be like, say if I was doing the T, it's not going to look exactly the same, but that would be the top line and then it would come down to here, 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 and that's not exactly straight, but I'm, tr I'm not trying to be too precise about it, but using the rulers really helps with this. Um, so yeah, use them if you're making a logo, they probably work best with logos and stuff to uh if you want to make a logo um uh, illustrator is really good as well if you've got illustrator i've got it but i don't really use it um but that's because i don't really need it um but whatever um then the other thing i want to show you is uh using the pen tool to cut out logos and stuff like that and uh cut around things so i'm just going to use the nike logo quickly as an example um if I just click on that <coughs> sorry um, please don't just let me copy it if this turns out really uh, can I do that there we that small but the good thing is when you're if I'm gonna I'm gonna basically copy this thing just using the pen tool so I'm gonna make this logo by going around it with the pen tool but the good thing is when you're doing that you can basically make it as big as you want um, I'll show you now so I'll make it like that and it may be blurry and stuff but it's still good enough to use for the pen tool so if I click probably zoom in would be best actually and even more blurry but you'll get the idea if you click right in that corner and then basically what you want to do is you want to find another bit around the shape if you're making a curve just find say here um, and then you click and drag it and basically what you need to do you need to fiddle around with it until it kind of adjusts to the shape that it's on and that would pretty much be it and then you just wanna click again over here and um, you may you may need to adjust this and mess around with it because it may go inside like if I was to do it there it would go right inside so you need to pull it up quite a bit and uh, it may go in a bit but you'll get the idea once you get used to it you'll be able to make it perfection but um, I didn't really do that first curve very good this is why this is working stupid so let me just redo the first curve if you don't want it going in then do it really short do short distances at a time and uh, it takes longer but you'll get a better result in the end of it but I'm not gonna go uh, very long with that I'm just gonna take it do it quickly and get it done um, so just follow it around 
<clears throat> and then there's a point when you reach a point just click don't drag because otherwise it will make a curve and then this prints pretty much straight so I'm just gonna go all the way down to about here and then drag that there put it in another um, put it in another point and then drag it around again if it's not like right on the line then um, you know you're probably doing it too fast but you can get it perfect if you spend long enough on it and there we go we've got our shape <clears throat> you can't really see it but it's there so if I was to make a new layer and then right click fill path okay make sure you've got black on now you won't notice anything because the back one's still there but delete that and there's your perfect Nike logo you've pretty much got it without any blurriness or pixelation so that's the great thing about pencil if you're trying to uh, take a logo you can just make it yourself and um, it was very simple that was that took like a minute or so um, and it's very useful the pencils amazing um, I used it for uh, when Hex drew me a logo, a graffiti logo sort of thing, as you've probably seen, um, I used a pen tool to go around it and digitalised it basically, and that's how it was made. Um, so yeah, it's a great thing to use. Um, you can also use it for making the borders, as I showed you on that um, other tutorial. Uh, I zoomed out, I don't know why. Or did I? That's a dog bark, and I'm sorry about that. That's it sounds so loud and it's really going to pee me off. It's next door's dog and it's like if people hear it on Xbox they'll be like is that your dog? And I'll be like no it's next door's and they're pretty shocked because it's so loud but you'll just have to ignore that. But um, yeah as I said making the side borders as I showed you in that other tutorial uh, is very useful with the pen tool. As you can see I like, <laughs> I like the look of this already and I <laughs> haven't even done anything to it. And um, it's a lot of fun. The pen tool, I love it. Uh, now I know what to do with it. Um, <clears throat> and you can also do them little, you can do the wires with it, just by doing stuff like that. And uh, making waves and stuff. And go stroke path, brush, I don't know how big it is. Yeah, there you go. And uh, make some cool little things with the pen tool. Um, I'm not sure what else I can show you really um, but that's pretty much it so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial um, I hope it helps and I'll see you in the next video peace out strats <laughs>